What are the biggest mistakes parents more broadly are making in terms of the relationship with their with their kids? I think one of the biggest mistakes is related to work-life balance. And I know that that word um, is getting some hate right now. So uh, work-life integration, you know, <laughs> but really what it comes down to is how parents can communicate work with their children, especially at a young age, because you have to think back to when you're a kid and maybe, you know, Maybe that's tough, but um, basically there's this thing called work, right? And you don't really, when you're a kid, you don't really know what that is. That's just this concept that your parents have to do. So they have this work that they have to do. And if the parents are constantly talking about how stressed they are, how much they hate their job, how much they hate their boss, but their actions are showing they're prioritizing work over their kid, then the kid's looking up and they're saying, okay, there's this thing called work. My dad or my mom doesn't like it, yet... And here's where it's at on the priority list. And here's where I am. Like, what's up with that, right? Whereas if you, even if you hate your job, first, maybe look at other jobs because life's too short. But second, if you hate your job, just be really careful about the way you're talking about your job. And when you're around your child, your daughter, just make sure you're highlighting the positives if you can. And also you're including her in conversations so that she even knows what you're doing. I think that was one thing that my dad did really well. He would, you know, sit me on his lap, show me the projects he was working on. And he would even bring me to work on the weekends if he had to work on the weekends, which he did sometimes. He was always working and he would let us draw on the blueprints because he's an engineer. And like, we felt really involved in his work, even though, you know, that, uh, we weren't right but it created that relationship where we had open communication i didn't feel like he was prioritizing work over me unfairly i i admired how he liked his job and it actually motivated me to find something that i like just as much rather than discouraging your kid because there's this thing called work that they hate right why would your kid want to go find a good job if uh, that's what she's looking up to, right? That's so interesting. It's like the idea of this this devil being work that's always yeah. spoken about, but they don't understand it. Of course, their relationship with that, especially when for people who have like a corporate job or even for entrepreneurs mm-hmm. too, like there is always more work. There right. is always something else that needs to be done. You can always uh, in your own head justify a reason to do more work rather than having the quality time with your kids and the overlap between doing work. I always say you can't be productive without being present. If you're trying to be on a phone call or doing emails on your phone as you've got kids around you, of course you're going to bring a lot of stress into that environment and it just leads to a horrible situation. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. 